Oof. That pitch is smoked to left center field, and it is gone. Tie A game. game tying three run bomb from Ian Murphy to tie the ball game up here in the bottom of the seventh. And the Falcons are wow. excited. Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Falcons Corner Voice of the Falcons, Mike Rickert. Pinch hitting, turn time to SID. <laughs> turn, turn. Are you saying it on purpose to now? Tom. Yes. I like turn time to. <laughs> but that doesn't make any sense. No. No, it's turn but to who are we Tom. To, who are we to make turn sense? Turn to Tom. I did say on the on the broadcast Sunday. Let's get a little turn Ferg up the middle. Yes. So that's, <laughs> to do that. that's it. But you're pinch hitting for uh, for Danny, who's uh, got some stuff going on. Um, so you're in this chair, again, showing off the legs today. Yeah, right? the, the gams, right? Yes. You know, well, it's going to be 70 outside. It's You'll get some is, sun on those bad boys today, too. I know. I had to bring some sunscreen because I didn't bring sunscreen on Sunday, even though it was 40 degrees outside. The sun was. I'm not thinking about it. Yeah. I was, I'm not too sunburned, but I was really windburned. Yes. So uh, I got some sunscreen for today. What a weird couple days of weather it, it has know? been it was it 70 on saturday and we couldn't play because the field was unplayable wet. and we did have some rain pass through a little bit saturday Gets below but... freezing saturday into sunday yep then it's 40 degrees on sunday. sunny is all heck on play. on sunday but 40 but and 40 play and, and breezy play, play a, uh, and, a double header against uh yukon every point right. baseball and now it's 70 again on tuesday well sure. let's keep talking about sunday since we're there and we'll go backwards so sure, sunday like you said yukon every point um down at scranton high school officially our home opener because that's our home field we've had other home dates the, the that third weren't home game but yes, the home opener, but our right. actual home opener um doubleheader split you know yeah. you can every point came in at 10 and 5 so they're a, a good ball club mm -hmm. um back and forth a little bit ball game and then uh ian murphy with the game tying three run bomb in the bottom of the seventh yeah kind of out of nowhere right because yeah. because i mean the bats had been okay for lackawanna college but they'd been a little wasteful hadn't really been able to move guys down the down the line and was kind of quiet you get two guys on yep. and just like that murphy to to left center yep. and, and it energized and that's everybody. a long way out there to left center down at down at scranton high school you mm -hmm. know so you, you know hammer that and then Braden D'Amico, you know, a walk-off double has hit the ball over the center fielder's head to uh, yep. walk it off for a game one victory. Um, couldn't sustain the momentum going into game two. Um, <laughs> got a so little crazy. Got a little there. out of hand. Um, prevented a 10-run rule by a, yep. a nice fifth inning. I think we scored five. E in the fifth, Ian Murphy right? again with a three-run double right. this time. Yeah, four in the four in the four? fifth okay. uh, after scoring one run. They were down 13-1, to one, but Ian Murphy, a three-run double. Right. Uh, and then uh, another run comes across, and you know I think you got to give obviously give credit to Avery Point. They're not a team that scores a lot of runs. Right. And honestly, they didn't have a ton of hits, but right. they make you pay. Right. Like and, you said, you know, base on balls, they you know bunted a little bit. And, and you know, uh, but small ball. but credit to our guys too for not you know you could easily just kind of pack it in and right. and decide you're done. Well, yeah, and no, and no one wants to get ten run rule too. Mm -hmm. So that just looks awful. Mm -hmm. so, so that was that was nice. I mean, even thirteen to five looks crooked, but. But, you know, you come back. But at least you don't have that L five innings. Exactly. In the, don't in have your, the five innings in the parentheses, yes, right? Yes, too. So that doubleheader came on the heels of um, Cannon Sussex, their first loss of the season. They traveled up there Friday. I made the trip and stayed up there for – I lasted a couple innings because it was cold. It was cold up there, too, and there was no sun. You know, so I think I yeah, stuck it yeah. out for like five or six innings. Um, but they ended up 10 rule, run ruling, who are now, I believe, the number 18th ranked. Sussex Skylanders. 15 to 5. Yes. Uh, really, really impressive stuff. I mean, it was a back and forth game, as you saw early. Yep. Kyle was a little wild. A little uh, bit. Able to settle down. Our guys were able to give them a little bit of a lead, but it was 7 5, I think, yep. heading into the fourth or fifth inning. And then, and then uh, we just exploded. Everyone up and down the lineup contributed on, uh, 
on Friday, you know, right. which, which led to that 15-5 victory. I'm hoping Kyle, once the weather changes a little bit and gets a little bit warmer for him, no one wants to hit in the cold. No one wants to pitch in the throw in the cold, you know. So not making excuses for him because I know he probably knows he needs just to be a little bit sharper at times. Yep. Um, but, you know, I think when the weather gets just a little bit warmer, you know, we might see a couple extra uh, – mile per hour is on that fastball and we don't want to ball out his arm and stuff nope. too so he's got a nope. long a career ahead of him um but the fact that he still gives us you know a good four or five that's know, the thing solid he in, still in, went five or six innings in that yeah. or the five innings for it right and, and help the falcons and eventually maybe innings. a region 19 opponent will throw their number one against our number one right maybe that'll right. happen you right. know so you know we'll we'll keep our fingers crossed mm -hmm. but our falcons are back in action yesterday which is actually today so you're going to put the result up now if you can they are Region 19, Lehigh, Carbon County yep. coming to the town today or yesterday. There was a 3.30. I'm going to talk in past tense now. <laughs> okay. It was a 3.30 start. We don't know what happened exactly to talk about, but you could post anything underneath us. Yes, yeah. Uh, first of a three-game series playing at home and uh, and then a uh, two-game doubleheader on Down the road in Shanksville. today, which is right. Wednesday. Uh, at Lehigh Carp. Right. You won't have the results of those. I will not have those results will not be on here. No, like one of mm -hmm. for that stuff, <laughs> you know, or Twitter and all that stuff. Right. Um, but yeah, they're back in region 19 play. So, you know, let's hope for a sweep and then they still got to, even though it's Easter week and they're still busy because they are Friday, Friday, Saturday, Friday, Saturday, doubleheaders both days. Yeah. On the road at Monroe Community, which is in Rochester. Yep, and then up they're in Rochester. back up to Yukon. Yeah, going out to Avery, Avery Point. Point in Groton, Connecticut uh, on Saturday. Yes, I will be not making those road you're not, trips. You're not making I am not one? going to Rochester and I am not going to Connecticut. Rochester's up there. I know? am not going. I, lo I, like I love my son. And if he gets a couple of bats, then great job. <laughs> but I'm not going to be and see them in person. <laughs> <laughs> and if there's a live stream, I'll watch. But if not, four. Get it, you know. So maybe I'll take the polar bear golf or something. Right, and stuff right. Too, so, um, but that puts a little wrap on baseball. So you know, where are where are we at record wise? We eleven, twelve, 11, 12, 12 and 11, 11. Okay. three and one in region. Uh, or as of right now, as of taping, uh, just trying to get some momentum. I right. think trying to get trying to. They've had a couple runs of decent results, right. but then it's like hopefully two, consistency comes with weather. That's the thing, consistency, and then you pitching, know? and then the hitting, and then we just get a consistent. Because I don't think we've had a consistent run yet since the start of the season. I know, I know, Coach McCary was happy with where they were being ten and ten at one point, right. and you know, I think he's got to be happy. They get a region win, and you split with a good UConn Avery Point team. But I know he'd like to see them. Get on just a little really bit put, of a roll put here. Put 10, 11, 12 games together. If you can knock, yeah, out, just, knock out Lehigh Carbon here, maybe split with Monroe or beat them on the road, depending right. on how good they are. Maybe earn a split on the road out at UConn Avery Point, too. Right. Then you're starting to feel Right. Have good. your Easter break come back, and you're ready to wrap up the season. Right. So um, let's talk a little bit about softball, because they let's had their home opener last Thursday against Orange. They had mm -hmm. a comeback victory in game one, and then a mercy rule victory in game two. Two. Yeah, it was. I, I tell you what, Orange came out and played really well and was up eight to one. At I one was surprised point. because you know I checked the live stream while I was in the weight room and then I was like, oh, geez, we're down. Yeah, a lot. And, and then I got there and I was like, oh, geez, the ball game's tied up. And a lot of credit to our girls for fighting back. Yep. Uh, and uh, and and Orange fought back to tie it up again. Yep. And uh, it, it was uh, it was pretty exciting. But how about Gwen Lavage? Yep. Had, had a big home run to start the game for the Falcons, and then had the uh, the game winning single to to win it. Yep. You know? And I did get on Gwen a little bit because the girls know my rule is one: I love home runs. Right. Two: You can't hit any if I'm not there. And she broke. She broke, she the, broke rule. the rule. She broke the rule. She broke the rule. She she said, "Coach Mike, I'm sorry." And I was like, "It's <laughs> okay. Knows, you home her whenever you want and stuff too." So you know, Gwen had you know a great first game. Um, it's great to see her get her back going. She spent yeah. a lot of time not hitting last year in the lineup, sure. you know, but you know we need her back this year, and you know she has really been one of our clutch hitters. Um, game two, they just left no doubt. They just got down and put the yeah. put the foot down, and you know held their gas pedal down on orange, and just you know took it to them and got us out of the cold quicker. Yeah, um, I, I think you know Falcons pitched well in that game right. and and got out in front, never looked back, and uh, and were able to get the win, and then. Kind of carried that momentum uh, on the road on Friday, where they go to a, a preseason nationally ranked D three team yep. in Brookdale and earn a big split, yep. getting a uh, getting a victory in game one. And then uh, on Sunday they go up to Monroe, a Division one opponent, yep. and they lose lose game one and uh, seven to one. And you think, oh man, it's just kind of going to get away from them, but right. then. Back and forth game two, and they uh, they come up with another late game victory. Yep. So Madison McVicker, who is our proud to announce is our athlete of the week with a game winning home run in that Monroe game. So congratulations to the, the Lady Falcon softball team, and mm -hmm. especially Madison McVicker. Madison's been in the program for a couple of years. Um, all my athletes are my favorites, but she is definitely one of my favorites. You know, she is you know a great person, and right. uh, 
has a great future ahead of her, you know, not just on the softball field, um, but whatever she chooses to do. So hopefully you'll get a chance to talk to her. Um, we'll see how that goes. We'll see. It, we'll we, see how was, that goes. It it's, was a late it, decision. A late decision. It was, you know, cut down to the wire and, you know, I did some lobbying. I'm not going to lie, you know, it's, but I'm not, not that no one else was des no, deserving every, of the award. Everyone is but, deserving, but it, it but came, you, know, you know, a game winning home run against a D one opponent, you know, trying to salvage a doubleheader split is a, uh, is good stuff. So right. congratulations to Madison. Um, she works on Wednesdays. So, you know, in the evening, so you may not get her even though too, who knows, but right. it works at those. Too, right. So, you know, just, It'll be tough. Yeah. You know, so it's okay. It's, it's, it's well, here's the thing too. Softball, while they're not busy necessarily at the beginning of this week, they are, they've got six games Thursday, Friday, Saturday, back to back to back double headers. Right. Coming yes. Out, so. so, so they, so they are busy, but if Madison's not aware of this, we're in the wait room tomorrow. I'll just let her know that she is at the, right, you right. know, and she doesn't get a chance to talk to you, but you know, maybe I'll come down to, maybe I'll come down to the weight room and I'll get her down there. That means you'll have to put the show out late though. That's okay. We'll figure it out. You, you do what you want to do. <laughs> all right. But any live streams for our home events, lackwantafalcons.com slash live. Right. So our women softball players are home Thursday. So you can get to lackwantafalcons.com slash They're home live. Friday. I'm sorry, Friday. My bad. They are on the road on Thursday, Thursday home at Friday. Raritan. That was a doubleheader that had to be moved because of rain yep. from Saturday. So and then opening, they're home Friday. Opening Region 19 play. And then you're right. Home Friday against Hartford, uh, one and three. Right. Down at Scranton High School um, on Friday. And then they're on the road. Big one at Mercer. Yep. Uh, for a double header in Region 19 plants. And any other road live streams for baseball and softball, you will throw that up on our social yeah, media. Yeah, anything that we can find, lock one at falcons.com. Yep, good. So you may or may not be talking to Madison in this segment, depending on whether we're in this <laughs> Wednesday this or Thursday. <laughs> Maybe at least we could throw her, you know, headshot up or one of her photos right here. We'll, give her, we'll we give her her Give her some kind, yeah. of, some kind of do, but we'll take a break. We'll come back. Yes. All right, we'll be back in the Falcons corner to take flight. Each one of us has a dream. The challenge in today's world is how to achieve it. Now, more than ever, that's the case. Don't fall behind on your dreams or your college education. You can take your general education classes in English, math, and social science locally at Lackawanna College. Our credits transfer to most colleges so you won't fall behind. Call Lackawanna College today to find out how you can stay home, stay safe, and still pursue your college education. This is life-changing. This is Lackawanna College. Going to college is a lot more than just about getting an education. It's a life experience. It's personal growth. <laughs> Connections that last a lifetime. It's memories that are everlasting and experiences that you could have never imagined. It's an education that will change your life forever. This is life changing. This is Lackawanna College. Hey, everybody, we're back on the Falcons Corner, Voice of the Falcons. Inter pinch hit interviewing for SID Tom Fur because Athlete of the Week. Madison McVicker feels better if I spoke to her. Yeah. Because you're very nervous about being on the Shaking. camp. You're so nervous that you lobbied for someone else to be athlete of the week. But it's too late. We already gave out the award. You're athlete of the week. So congratulations. Thank you. You had a nice weekend up at Monroe. Mm -hmm. um, more importantly, a walk-off home run. Yes. So I know the field was big. Yeah. So did you hit it over the fence or was it inside the park home run? It was inside the park. Inside the park. But if it was fenced in, would it have been over the fence? I believe so. All right. And you know the golden rule. And this has got to be a quick interview because we're getting ready to lift. Yeah. So you're lucky for that because if time interview is like 20 minutes. All right. So like he'll go into like family okay. history. And if you have like, right. you know, like those heredity tags, like those things, he goes yeah. into like all family history from back to the Civil War. Okay. Yeah. Um, if it was on a regular field, it would have been over the fence. Yes. But you know the golden rule. You can't homer if I'm not there. I so know. I was trying to wait. All right. So you have a couple games coming up this weekend. Mm -hmm. Some of them are home. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be there Friday. Good. Can we maybe home? Give it my best shot. All right, good. So this is your third year here. You're taking advantage of your COVID year. Correct. How is this year just a little bit different from the from the other two? I think just like more players okay. than the previous years. Right. Like traveling more, I believe. Like I feel like traveling a lot more. Right. I, and I see like in the weight room, there's more girls yeah. coming to lifts and stuff. Does that make it easier for practice and more I, team camaraderie where you could just like joke around with each other, fool yeah. around? There's more people it to talk with. doesn't help with the left field though. There's always like four solid people. <laughs> there's always, you know, so you're a left fielder. Yes. Would you rather hit 
a game-winning home run or make a diving play in the gap to save the go-ahead run from scoring? Diving. Really? Mm -hmm. Now, you know, you have shown me videos of your outfield prowess in the past, so yes. we do know that you have made some diving plays and stuff mm -hmm. in the past. However, I'm more impressed with the home run. Okay. But, that, but that's okay. All right. We're doing good so far, right? Nothing bad? Right? We're good? You're, you're handling this? All right, good. So what, what's your major here at the school? Human services. Where are you, what are you doing? What's your plan when you leave here? I'm coming back for the bachelor's you're program. You're going to come back and finish your bachelor's yeah. program? Now, since your eligibility will be up, will Coach Pitt recruit you to come be like part of the staff or hang around the girls a little bit or do something? Maybe. Maybe. Is Coach, that Al, some... Coach Al has talked about that. So is that something you like would look forward to like in the future? Like, all right, I played softball at the junior college level for three years and I was successful. You know, is coaching like something you may want to look into? Yeah, I've thought Even about if it's it. at a youth level? Mm -hmm. Your sister's a, also a softball player. Mm -hmm. She's a high school yep. senior? Yeah. Where is she going to school? Is she a pit recruit? Is uh, she a coach pit she came recruit? here to practice once with us, but then she's going to East Strasburg. Oh, good. Awesome. Awesome. So the, the McVicker legacy is going to die when you're done here at the end of the season. Yeah, because she's not playing in college either. Oh, she's not even going to play no. in college. She's going to retire. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. And I know your dad is a big you know, softball. Yeah. He's following she has running. a game today. And is he okay with softball career ending next year? Is he gonna? Is that gonna I be think, tough for him? I think he was more happy with travel ending. Okay. Rather than, rather than yes, and I've yeah. been in that because like he wanted to see us play together. Right. But like that was gonna happen COVID year. Right. And then that then that happen. all that happened and stuff too. All right. So that was a good interview. You're done because we got to go lift. Is there any parting words you want to say? No, you did good. It wasn't know, that bad. I'm I'm, I'm so happy that you were able to do it. I'm so happy you let us keep your award of athlete okay. of the week. But we got to lift. We got important things. Good rest. Good luck the rest of the weekend. Thank you. And good luck the rest of the year. Homer when I'm at games. Okay. All right, good. All right, Madison McVicker, Athlete of the Week. We'll be back in the Falcons Quarter Take Flight. En La Caguana College, no estamos aquí para cambiar el mundo, pero cambiaremos su forma de pensar, cómo ataca los problemas y supera las limitaciones, cómo se esfuerza por convertir los desafíos en oportunidades. Es una experiencia que cambiará su vida y tal vez entonces puedas cambiar el mundo. Esto cambia la vida. Este es La Caguana College. We are back on the Falcons Corner Voice of the Falcons, Mike Rickard. Turn to Tom, SID, there you go. pinch hitting in the hot seat in front of the camera for Danny Burke. That's right. Yes. You're doing another great job. Hey, thank you. And I you always say you're that. like not a baseball guy, but I'm you know, not. you did the play you did the play play game too because I had to go home and watch Caitlin Clark. You did. I don't want to talk about it. Yeah, let's not let's not go there. <laughs> but I did say I was going to go and listen to you and not Ryan Rucco mm -hmm. and Rebecca Lobo. I listened to both. But you sounded terrific doing baseball. Oh, thank you. I, I just want to give you that. that. I mean, yes. I, I, you well, you sounded like a professional baseball. You're a professional and you could handle all the sports, but we you sounded like you've done baseball plenty of times. I have. I have. And, and you know, it's fun. I, I, and despite the score maybe not being the way we wanted it, right. it's tough to do one-sided games like that. Uh, but – it was fun to be back. Yeah. It was fun to be back doing that. And uh, even some of the, the scouts uh, from other colleges right. that were there kind of checking out some of the guys, uh, they had said, hey, how do we get you at our, yeah, our see games? That? And I said, money I said, talks. Money. Money <laughs> talks. Right? That's what AC, put a little AC, it's copyright. We can't put any ACDC money talk on right now. Oh, uh, yeah, I probably can't do that. That could be your walk up song. Um, but see, they're there recruiting not only for uh, players, but also for broadcasters. Right. And I always say that, like, when I'm doing public address, I'm like, you know, like, Working or working and going to school at a two-year school, you go on to like a four-year school. So if mm -hmm. any division ones, like I would only have to leave for like a lucrative, crazy division. <laughs> well, offer, sure, sure. You know, like you know, full ride plus. Coach Prime, hello. Yes, <laughs> yes. But um, but no, you sounded you sounded great on the stream, and you know the camera looked great, and you know. Yeah, I mean, and I'm glad we're able to do that as much as we can because it's hard seeing what's going on. You know, on but, the baseball field because yeah. it's so expansive. It's so big. Baseball and softball are tough sometimes with streams, and and all all the schools that do it do a do the best that they can. Right, and that's what we try. But if to we do. could put a little something behind it, just even if we're not doing a good job or not, you know, well, we always think we're doing a good job. But if someone else doesn't think we're doing a good job, at least we could say, hey, except for the one time where I thought the ball was fouled off behind us and it was pop up to left field. <laughs> I do have to say, calling baseball games, it's really hard at field level to see. Where the ball and well, what is going on in the field. That's if, where we maybe have we to gotta get, get press box. Yeah, we know? gotta get something in our, in our next field. Mm -hmm. That's yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Money talks. That's right. Yes. Um, but anything else? LackawannaFalcons.com slash live, Twitter, Twitter, Twitch for esports stuff. Esports yeah. still going on. Esports is still happening. So they're off this week, uh, but they're back in action. Playoffs, especially with Rocket League starting next Monday okay. and Tuesday. So they get back to work, Rocket League trying to. 
do their thing in, uh, in the NJCAAE. They should be a pretty good seed in the NJCAAE playoffs on Tuesday and uh, in the Nace Star League. Obviously, they won their group championship, right. so they're into the round of 16 good. already, so they kind of got a bye there. So we'll see how they do. But uh, I know Teddy and, and Bob and, and all the guys down there with eSports are really excited about the, the work that they've done so far this semester and uh, looking forward to see how they how they kind of figure out. I think they have a tournament or something coming up uh, okay. later this week or later this weekend or something like okay. that. So they've got – a lot of stuff, stuff going. going on that they're, they're busy with. Good. And then we want to make sure we wish everyone out in Falcon Nation a very happy Easter. And yep. if our students are traveling back home, to travel safely and yep. get back here safely to wind down the semester. I always, when I was in college, looked to the Easter break. Once I got to Easter, I knew it was smooth sailing from here on out. Right, yeah, because, I mean, it's hard to believe, but we've only got, what, a month left, yeah. really? Graduation of, is, of like, and, right around the corner. Yeah, almost. graduation's imminent. You know, we... We, uh, we may have a lot of things going on on graduation weekend right. if, uh, if things fall the right way for baseball and softball. And uh, we'll be streaming graduation for the college and we'll be doing whatever other we things. Do. You know, whatever, whatever's there, yep. we'll be there. We'll be there. Awesome. So, all right. Thanks for tuning in. BlackWineFalcons.com slash live for our live events. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and then Twitch for eSports, like we always say. And make Great sure time. if you're watching us on YouTube, you're subscribing, you're liking us, you're doing all those things. Even if you don't like us. Still subscribe. Yeah, yes, yeah, subscribe. You don't even have to like the video. It's fine. Yeah, just subscribe. Just subscribe. We need to get our subscription we back. Want, we lost all those subscribers. We, we had to move channels. We want the. We want. We want to bump right. back up. Yes, you know exactly. That's the hope. All right, that's what we ask. That's our Easter wish for you. <laughs> all right, great. We'll see you next week. Have a happy Easter, everybody. Take flight.